As the title of this video suggests, we are looking at birds on stamps. Yes, we are looking at all things feathered, my friends. I've got three sets to show you. One set is from Cuba. The second is from Sharjah, which is based in the United Arab Emirates. And finally, a set from Korea. Okay, first up, we have these three examples from Cuba all dated 1989, so making them 31 years old. Now when I think of Cuba, I imagine an old man smoking a cigar whilst playing a slightly out of tune upright piano on a pavement outside a bar. And, and there's a dog sat next to him. Don't forget the dog. Anyway, let's look at the stamps. I had to look up all three of these birds. I guessed that that was a toucan. That was a heron of sorts, had no idea what that jobby was, but let me give you the actual names of each of the birds. So we have, we're looking at the one cent stamp here on the left, the Toko Toucan stamp. In the middle we have the Agami Heron, a three cent stamp, and this fella here on the ten cent stamp is apparently a pale winged trumpeter bird. There you go. Now what I like about these stamps is not just the subject matter, the birds themselves, but the size of the stamps. Big bold colours. These stamps really would stand out on an envelope if you did post them. Look how big they are. Lovely. Yes. It would make it a pleasure to receive a letter with something like this affixed to it. I'm all for big coins and big stamps on this channel, so Royal Mail and the Royal Mint, please do take note. Okay, we're jetting off to our next philatic destination now, that being the United Arab Emirates, specifically to Sharjah, the third largest city behind Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Now looking at these stamps, it surprised me how many different varieties of birds they have over there. In my westernised ignorance, I assumed that they would only have desert dwelling birds, but apparently not looking at this lot, and no doubt they have many more species of birds living there. So we are looking at two sheets, which date back to the 1970s, the one on the left from 1972, and the one on the right to 1974. Like I mentioned earlier on in the video, my bird knowledge when I was a kid was pretty tip top. Not so much now, I'm a bit rustier now. Um, but looking at these stamps, I can make out, I don't know, that certainly looks like a partridge, obviously an eagle of sorts, a black stork maybe, a goose down the bottom left here, and that looks like a ptarmigan. Now ptarmigans are generally found up, they're generally rock dwelling birds or are found up in mountainous areas up in Scotland and such so I always associate them with a cooler climate rather than um, the United Arab Emirates. Anyway I could be wrong, somebody please let me know in the comments section down below. Okay, top left, a 25 dirham stamp the 35 dirham stamp, 50 dirhams, uh, this one, what is this one, 65, that's a 1 real at the bottom there, and this one, the time again, a 3 real stamp, again, all fairly big stamps, which please me. And this sheet of four dates back to 1974. Top left, you can see a kingfisher, a house martin. I have no idea what these two birds are at the bottom. Um, all of them are one real stamps. You can see clear postmark in the centre there. I think that's the 28th of December, 1970. Actually, that's 1972, isn't it? I am wrong, people. This is a set from 1972. I don't know where I got 1974 from. Maybe I was confused by 
with that little cross section there. But no, clearly, it states 1972. And finally, let's jet over to North Korea. But North Korea in 1976, when these stamps were made. Here we have a sheet depicting eight varieties of pheasants. There we go. I've done a little bit of research on what some of the pheasants are. Top right here, we've got a golden pheasant or a rainbow pheasant. That fellow there is the silver pheasant. And the one bottom left is the albino common pheasant, apparently. That one there, there, and there looks like our pheasant that we have over here in the UK. We can see the different denominations on each of the stamps. That is a 2 Korean chon, a 5 Korean chon, 10, 15, 25, 40, and a 50 Korean chon down at the bottom there. That one doesn't seem to have a value, or if it does, it's within the text there. I can't read it. Um, I'd imagine that's probably one chon, Korean chon, I don't know. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Right, that's it for this particular video. Thank you for watching, if you have. Also, thank you to all the old and new subscribers that are finding my channel. More videos are on their way. Spread the word about the channel if you like, and help it to grow throughout 2020. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next video, bye for now.